Hey guys and welcome to another No Hands Proxies tutorial video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up No Hands Proxies for use with No Hands SEO. Okay, now I'm going to start by showing No Hands Proxies. This is the um, proxy settings as they are when you first install No Hands SEO. Okay, I'm going to first off get no hands proxies up because what we want to be doing is get no hands proxies set up so that can be running and finding proxies for us so that when we're ready to get no hands SEO set up we can just put in the details and have it working right off the bat okay so to get no hands proxies set up and get it harvesting and checking for the type of proxies that we need in no hands SEO all we need to do is go to the settings tab and then click on no hands SEO what that will do is it will tell no hands proxies to harvest Google proxies for us and harvest proxies that are usable for posting it will set up all of the um, checking jobs or the output jobs uh, retesting of proxies everything like that it will set up for us all we have to do is click that one button there and that's it Okay, so from now on, all we need to do whenever No Hands Proxies is loaded, loaded is hit the start button. We do not need to go into advanced settings or anything like that. Just by clicking that one button, it's done. It's done forever for us. Okay, now what you'll see is this message that pops up saying, explaining that all output options for No Hands SEO have now been set up for you. You do not need to set up anything further to have No Hands Proxies run perfectly. And then it says that it's strongly advised not to go to the advanced settings as any further changes to the settings will be unnecessary and likely will result in fewer usable proxies. Okay, and then here it says where the Google proxies are sent to, and it's the My Documents folder in the Google proxies.txt file, and the posting proxies will be sent to the My Documents folder posting proxies.txt. Okay, so now that's done, all I need to do is hit the start button and wait for the proxies to start rolling in. Now when I hit the start button now, what's going to happen is No Hands Proxies is going to go off, scrape the hundreds of well thousands of proxies and then once it's harvested all those proxies as you can see now it started checking the proxies it's finding out which ones are working which ones aren't working and all of the working proxies will be displayed in here now once it's found a certain amount of working proxies it will then start to test all of the working proxies against Google to find out which ones can be used for searching and uh, also which ones can be used for posting and it will output the uh, individual proxies to their designated file. Now that's all done for you. The setup for No Hands Proxies is done entirely by clicking that one button once. You can click it multiple times, there is no point. Just clicking it that once has it set up forever. You do not need to worry about anything else. If your intention is to run with No Hands SEO, all you need to do in No Hands Proxies is hit that one button and then start it all you need to do. There are other settings if you really feel the need to go in and play with the settings you can do that by clicking the unlock sorry unlock advanced settings but I would really really strongly advise you not to do anything like that because just by clicking that one button it is entirely set up for you. Okay so when that's been running for a while you'll start to see in the past websites there'll be ticks and crosses and the ticks will will designate um, which proxies can be used for searching in Google and the, the red crosses will show you which ones cannot see straight away. The top one can't be but that second one can be. So then on the next output job which we, is set to every minute, so every minute you'll be getting a fresh proxy list. Um, that, that proxy will be sent to the Google proxies file and all of the, the proxies that are that are elite or anonymous will be output to the the posting proxies file okay so you see there's more Google proxies there now it is common for there to be a lot more that cannot be used with Google than can be used with Google this is not a problem with the the tool or with the proxies that it's finding it's just very common because obviously there's a lot of people trying to use these proxies and also there's only so many of them so naturally not all of them will work and that is exactly why you need this tool because you can't just go onto a website download a list of proxies and have them work for you you need a tool which can find them check them and weed out all the bad ones so that you can just use the good ones 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into No Hands SEO and set it up in here. Now I do plan on doing something very similar where you can just click a button and have it set up for you, but currently uh, there are a few steps needed to get the proxies from No Hands proxies into No Hands SEO. So first off, we're going to use the the private proxy uh, column here of controls for the posting proxies. So we're going to select use private proxies and continually update from file, which means that whenever the file is updated or every minute, it's going to be loading the proxies in from the posting proxies file. Okay, you can see that there's already that many after just a couple of minutes of running. It's already found that many proxies that can be used for posting. And then I'm going to select posting here. And uh, if you're using if you're using no hands SEO for pinging, you can also select for pinging. If you're using to um, limit by PR, you can check for use um, with PR checking. Personally, I use no hands pinger, which is a free tool for pinging. Um, and I I tend not to use the PR checking, uh, PR limiting because I just find it's an outdated metric and I don't have any problems with not um, checking against PR. Uh, link checking, there's really not any need to use proxies, so I don't check that. So really, as long as you have posting selected, continually update from file, and that you have your posting proxies file in there, everything should be fine and dandy. Okay, in the secondary proxies column of controls, I'm going to be using these for the searching proxies. So I'm going to do the same again, use a secondary, continually update from file. I'm going to select Google proxies. There'll be far fewer here. Yep, so there's just three for now, but that's fine. It's only just started. And then I'm going to select searching because that's really all we want to use them for. And you can select remove bad search proxies if you wish. That will mean that um, whenever a search is done and uh, it fails due to the, the proxy, it will remove that. So say uh, later on down the line when you're running uh, No Hands SEO, if that proxy is used for searching and it returns um, a failed search, then it will rem remove that from the list and carry on using just those proxies that are still working. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is going. Um, you can select to reschedule the search on bad proxy if you like. There's no problem with having that. But really, that's all you need to do. Make sure that you have both sets of proxies set to use. Continually update from file. Make sure that you have the posting proxies in the posting proxies column and the Google proxies in the searching proxies column. And that you select search in there and posting there. That's all you need to do and save the settings obviously. And in app settings, make sure that you have uh, the search provider set as Google because these pro these proxies for searching are set to work with Google, not with Yahoo. So all you need is to select Google there and then you can save the settings. Now as you can see, because I've saved it, it's reloaded in the files. Um, there's more posting proxies and also there's a lot more Google proxies now. If I switch back to No Hands Proxies, we can see that it's running now. It's found 280 working proxies. Of those proxies, obviously there were, um, oh, it says down here that there's 14 Google proxies so far. And we've been running a grand total of seven minutes. Now, as time goes on, it will find more Google proxies, it will find more posting proxies, and it will recheck the current proxies to make sure that they're still working, still usable for the task at hand. So that's really all that is needed. Um, as you can see, no hand, the no hands proxies side of things really couldn't be simpler. It's a single click setup, and then a single click to start running. So then in future, all you need to do is make sure that you have no hands proxy running at the same time that you have no hands SEO running and it will be constantly feeding in a fresh list of using posting proxies and searching proxies and this process will go on indefinitely okay as you can see there it's just output a new list of proxies so we can see again that the number of posting proxies has gone up from 130 to 149 and the list of uh, Google search in proxies has gone up to 19. Okay, so there we go. No hands proxies, it couldn't be easier to use. It definitely works fine and uh, 
yeah, you can get up and running within a few minutes and then you can have no hands SEO building backlinks for you for well, for as long as you need it to. You know, both tools are intended to be entirely um, hassle free and unlimited in their use. That's all that, that's needed. I hope that this guide's been easy to follow and shows how things work. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down low, down below. Um, you can get in touch via email at support at nohandsseo.com or support at nohandsproxies.com. Uh, we've got a support forum at nohandsseo.com forward slash forum. So uh, if you have any questions, feature requests, anything like that, feel free to get in touch, uh, post on the forum or anything like that. Okay. I look forward to hearing from you and thanks for watching this video. Cheers.